Howdy, and welcome to this video showing some of the new features of the CD Transfer Tools update. Now, in this update, there were a few new commands added, and there were also a few options added to the existing commands. There were also quite a few code optimizations made. So, let's first take a look at some of the new commands that were added. One of the new commands is called CD Transfer Animation, and this command will copy animation tracks from one object to another or from one hierarchy of objects to another. Uh, the command also has an options dialog which you access by holding the control key down and clicking on the command. And in the options dialog, you set the transfer mode to either single object or hierarchy, and you enable which tracks you want to transfer. The choices are position, scale, rotation, attribute, and user data tracks. To use the command, you simply select the source object and shift select the destination object and select the command. And you can see the uh, cube's animation track was transferred over to the sphere. To transfer the animation tracks of one hierarchy to another, both hierarchies need to be identical. Uh, so in this example here, we have an imported BVH hierarchy of bones and we want to transfer that to this identical hierarchy of joints. We select the source and in the object manager control select the uh, destination and we'll hold the control key down to open up the options dialog and we'll switch it from single object to hierarchy and click OK and there you see the animation tracks of the entire hierarchy were transferred to the joint hierarchy. Another new command is called CD Transfer User Data, and this command will copy the user data from one object to another. For example, here we have a cube that has some user data on it, and we want to transfer that over to the sphere. We'd select the cube, shift select the sphere, call the command, and you see the sphere now also has the same user data on it. This command will also transfer the user data from an object to several other objects. For example, here we have a sphere with a user data on it, and we can transfer that to all of the pyramids. So we'd select the sphere, and then shift select all of the pyramids and if we hold the control key down and call the command it'll open up an options dialog and we can switch from single object to multiple objects click OK and there you have all of the pyramids with the same user data sliders Another new command is called CD Transfer Axes. And what this command does is it actually rotates an object's axis by transferring one axis of the object to another. Uh, for example, uh, if we wanted to transfer the uh, Z axis of this object to the X, we would uh, select the command and it will always open up a dialog box and then we'd choose transfer Z to X click on OK and you can see the Z axis was transferred to the X the X was transferred to the Y and the Y was transferred to the Z now this command really comes in handy when we're having trouble with rotational animation and the unexpected interpolation between the keyframes uh, for example, here we have an object, and suppose we need this object to be in this orientation, and we need it to uh, 
rotate around its y-axis like so. And let's copy this over here. But when we play the animation, it doesn't rotate as we expect, and that's because of the interpolation between the keys. Now, if we understand rotations in Cinema 4D, we know that a bank rotation will always be around the object's z-axis. So we could simply transfer the z-axis to the y-axis by using CD transfer axes. And if we select z to y, click OK, and now when we play the animation, it rotates as we expect. Here we have another example of getting unexpected interpolation between the rotation keys. But in this particular example, we don't really want to transfer the z-axis of the object to one of the other axes because this object is a joint and a joint needs its z-axis to point to the next child joint down. Uh, but if we understand rotations in Cinema 4D, uh, we know that bank rotations will always be around the object's z-axis, but heading and pitch rotations are always dependent on the parent's orientation. So if we change the parent's orientation, we effectively will change the interpolation between the keys. Uh, in this example, what we want to do is transfer the x-axis to the y-axis. And when we make transfers between x and y axes of an object, uh, it simply rotates the object's axis around its z-axis. So let's uh, select the command and here we'll select transfer x to y and click on OK. And now when we play the animation the object is rotating as we expect. CD Transfer Replace will now also transfer all animation tracks from the original object to the replacement object so that the animation is preserved. Uh, for example, here we have a cube with animation on it. And if we want to replace the cube with the sphere, we would select the sphere, shift select the cube, and call the command and you can see the sphere has replaced the cube and the sphere has retained the animation of the cube. There's also a new option added in the options dialog to also transfer the name of the original object to the replacement object. If we uh, enable use target name and click OK, you can see the sphere has now been renamed to cube. CD Transfer Align has a new Group Alignment option. So, for example, if we wanted all of these uh, pyramids to be aligned to the sphere, we would first select all of the pyramids, and then select the sphere as the last object. Let's hold the Control key down and call the command. and we can select group to last, click on OK, and now you see all of the pyramids have been aligned to the sphere. CD Transfer Command has a new option to only transfer a selected component of the object to a selected component of the target object. For example here, uh, if we have a cube and we want to transfer a polygon of the cube to a polygon of the sphere, we would select the cube, 
shift select the sphere go into polygon mode select a polygon of the cube uh, shift select a polygon of the sphere and let's hold the control key down open the options dialog and we'll enable components only and when we click on OK you can see the only the component was uh, transferred to the target. The CD transfer selected tag has a new option called transfer to button and this allows you to transfer the selection of an object to a button of the target object thereby simulating a button press. So uh, if I enable the uh, transfer to button option I can now choose which button of the target object I want to trigger. So let's select restore and what I've selected here is actually the bind pose restore button. So now if I select the object in the viewport it will return the rig to its bind pose. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you find CD transfer tools to be a useful plugin. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Adios.